Hey guys, this is going to be a review of Rain Season 3, Episode 2, Betrothed. So Francis decides in this episode that Mary should marry Charles. And I feel really bad for both of them because that whole arrangement really sucks. And But I especially feel bad for Charles and how upset he is and how he's being ordered to marry someone. He snaps at Claude later on about how she'll marry whoever he commands, which is sucky, especially for Claude, but also understandable when he's just been ordered to get married by his brother who is king. Like, I think it makes sense that he would say that to Claude because it's kind of like a fight back because it's what's happening to him, obviously, but it, it is really, really sad. <laughs> Even though I think it's like really sucky what um, Francis and Mary are making him do, I, I do get why they're doing it, but also the scene with where they take him in the carriage to see what happens with um, the one guy and like he set off a plot without realizing it and they're in the carriage and they're like Mary and Francis are giving him this lecture basically about like this is the lesson Catherine was teaching you is this the sort of king you want to be and Mary and Francis were just awesome in that scene like the way they delivered the lines and just how like angry and also like matter of fact they were about it like is this really how you want to be as king was just really really great and I loved that scene. I do find it really ironic how against the marriage Catherine is when she was forced like trying to force Charles to marry Elizabeth before like she so badly wanted Charles to marry Elizabeth um and now he's being forced to marry Mary and Catherine's so against it. Obviously it's because of how she feels about Mary, but it's just ironic to me that she's so up in arms about Charles getting married now when she was the one trying to scheme it before, and Charles also getting so angry at Mary and Francis about trying to force them to marry and going to Catherine for comfort, even though Catherine had been trying to marry him off before Mary and Francis were. Leith was back in this episode, which is great because I love Leith and I was sad that he wasn't in the last episode, but he had a lot of stuff with Claude in this episode. I definitely think they're going in the direction of something happening between Claude and Leith. Um, definitely think that's what's happening. I am sad because I still ship Leith and Greer. They haven't had a scene together for a while and I kind of feel like it's over and nothing more is going to happen between them. That makes me really sad because I still really ship them together and still really want them together and I still don't really ship Claude and Leith. I am more okay with it now than I was. Um, I like Claude more now than I did. Like, I, I think we've seen, like, a kind of more vulnerable side to her now that makes me like her more, but I still don't really ship her and Leith. I kind of wish that it would stay, like, a friendship. I, I would just, I think I would like it more as a friendship. I think just that would appeal to me more. Um, and kind of like him being nice to her as a friend and it not developing into something more because she doesn't really have friends either like I know like I feel like they're going to make it into something romantic but I do feel like Claude doesn't really have any friends at all so I think her just having a friend would be really nice but I, I think they're gonna make it romantic which I'm not like entirely against like I am Lola and her cease which I will talk about in a minute but I'm, I don't really ship it. We get more little bits with Delphine in this episode and she gave Bash a warning and Bash is convinced that she isn't evil and I kind of feel like she's not the way things are going. I'm still not really sure how exactly she got framed last season. Like that's going to have to be explained to me whenever they decide to explain it to us what exactly happened. But I do kind of feel from the evidence that we have now in the show that they seem to be setting her up to be innocent. I don't really, I don't really like her and Bash together. I'm not as against, this is my continuum, I'm against all three of these couples, but I'm most okay with Claude and Leith and the least okay with Lola and Narcisse and then Bash and Delphine are like in the middle. Um, I want them together even less than I want Claude and Leith together. My dad is yelling at me. So I'm more, I'm more 
okay with it than I am Lola and Narcisse, which I'm like frantically against, but I still don't really want them together all that much and I'm not really interested. I've said this like a million times at this point, I think. But I just don't find Delphine's storyline that interesting. I don't really care about it that much, especially in comparison to everything else that's going on. Lola and Narcisse. I was convinced that they were going to wind up together, not together I don't know if they'll wind up together for the entire course of the series because who can predict that but I knew that something with them would happen like they would be together at some point because it was definitely going that way and that happened in this episode and I've talked like countless times about how much I don't want them together and then the rat in Lola's bath was disgusting um, obviously, like, I actually love rats, <laughs> like, domesticated rats, but a nasty one in your bath is disgusting, and, like, I just, like, I know, I, it's just so frustrating, because I knew from the very beginning that it was probably Narcisse doing it, because it's such a Narcisse thing to do, and the fact that Lola decided to be with him, but then he did the rat thing and she doesn't know he did it and that bothers me like I hate it so so much like I cannot stand that it makes it makes me really really frustrated knowing that he did that when Lola doesn't and she's deciding to be with him and I just hate Narcisse and I don't want him with Lola and I just hate that entire storyline I don't even like I don't find it boring the way I find the Delphine storyline interesting, but I also don't really enjoy it because the only reason I don't find it boring is because I'm too angry to consider myself bored. But like all I am is just mad and I hate it. I hate that storyline. It gets worse like every episode and I just can't stand the two of them together and I, gosh. And then at the end of that episode, he got, tells the, his servant or whoever to stop writing the note because he's gotten what he wants and now he has to make himself worthy of it. It's like, dude, no, no, God, you, okay, you put a rat in her bath and we're like threatening her in order to get her with you. And now you want to try and make yourself worthy, but you're already a terrible person because you've been threatening her to get her with you. And like, there isn't a good way to make up for that because you're a terrible person. And I hate Narcisse and I hate Narcisse and Lola together. And I hate that storyline and I hate everything about it. And I'm just so tired of it. I'm glad that Elizabeth is sticking around even though Catherine is no longer in England and I'm so so interested in her parts of the story. Like I love seeing her and I love seeing everything about her. She reminds me a lot of Catherine except I'm, I think we're seeing her in more vulnerable positions than we ever get to see Catherine in. Catherine's been vulnerable sometimes but most of the time when we see her she's like very in control of things and we don't get that many looks into her like weaker moments which she probably has but Elizabeth we're seeing a lot of her weaker points and how hard it is for her to keep her authority around all the men that she's around who think that she can't actually do her job because she's a woman and I love that and she, but she does remind me of Catherine in some ways that I find really exciting because Catherine's my favorite character and her betraying her friend was like great terrible as a person obviously but like storyline wise I loved that and I love like I just love the parts with Elizabeth so far. And to finish up this review there are two things that I've been thinking about a lot which aren't specific to this episode but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about them anyway because I've been thinking about them a lot since the first episode and the show came back. These like I'm suddenly thinking about rain a lot more again and these two things have been on my mind a lot. First thing, this is something I tweeted yesterday but I don't get how Catherine and Henry managed to raise kids that have like decent morals. Like Francis, even Bash is like, are they like good people? And Charles seems decent. He doesn't want to kill people like his mom at least. And Claude, for all of her like things with being kind of 
mean to people, seems decent at the heart of things, like more so than her parents. And I know Henry wasn't always quite as bad as Catherine. Um, he definitely got worse towards the end, but that was because he was sick and things, um, being poisoned and whatnot. But like, he was still not the greatest person before all of that. But like, their kids are all pretty decent, which I get is because you need to be able to root for them. But it's just interesting how that happened. This morning I was having this like long train of thought about things and this is something that I've thought about in the past but I let myself like dwell on it more this time. I It's strange to me. Mary is the queen of Scotland and Scotland is like her country and she rules over it but she hasn't been there since she was a really little kid. Like she hasn't set foot in Scotland and it's interesting to me how she talks about her people and her country all the time when she hasn't been there since she was extremely little and then they talk about France and Scotland and how France is Francis's country and Scotland is Mary's country and when they fight that comes up and like Mary has chosen Scotland over France before and I get that that's like a thing she has to do because Scotland is like her country but at the same time it's strange to me because she was raised in France. She was actually like raised in French court like with Francis. So like France is her home way more than Scotland is and like t like personally speaking she should be feel closer and more connected to France than Scotland because it's where she's lived her entire life and she hasn't lived in Scotland but then like as a queen she has to be queen of Scotland and like that whole thing is just crazy for me to wrap my mind around and like what that would be like and those dynamics. I would love for that to be explored more on the show. It kind of has been but just like kind of what it's like for Mary to be she's the queen of France and the queen of Scotland but she's the queen of Scotland in her own right and she's the queen of France because of her marriage but she was raised in France and is really probably more French than Scottish and like has to feel like a really strong affinity towards France when she's lived there the vast majority of her life and that's just really interesting to me and she's the queen of a country that she hasn't set foot in since she was really little and that's just like she like how would she even fit in in Scotland if she were to go to Scotland that and it's just that's very interesting to me and one of the reasons why I was really excited to see her in Scotland when that potential was there last season and it didn't happen obviously but I don't know I would love if the show keeps going and to eventually see her in Scotland would be a lot of fun I think and I hope the show makes it to that point because I think it would be awesome although it also means sad times before that but I won't get into historical spoilers so I'll see you guys later bye